caffeine. There's so much press out there, good and bad, about the effects of caffeine. If you're consuming caffeine in your diet, this video is for you. Now, too much caffeine does have some adverse health effects. Let's talk about it. First of all, too much caffeine can give you anxiety. It can give you depression. It can give you heart palpitations, and it acts as a diuretic, which can cause dehydration. Too much caffeine can also give you diarrhea. It can also raise your blood pressure. Really not good for you. If you're consuming too much caffeine, cut back on it. But there are some positive effects of caffeine that have actually been supported by some studies out there. Let's talk about them. Number one, you can actually live longer with proper caffeine consumption. We're talking about one to two cups a day. There's actually some studies that suggest a lower incidence of heart disease and stroke with modest caffeine usage. Number two, caffeine can actually help with glucose control. So people who have diabetes or early onset diabetes can actually have a reduction in their blood sugar when consuming a moderate amount of caffeine. Pretty cool. Number three, caffeine can actually have a liver protective effect. So people with liver disease might actually see some protection with modest caffeine intake. Certain cancers, believe it or not, have been associated with caffeine consumption, most notably colon cancer. Pretty cool, needs a little bit more study, but I found this really fascinating. And finally, and really, really fascinating, you actually have a decreased association of Alzheimer's onset with caffeine consumption. That is true. There's actually a delayed onset of Alzheimer's disease in people who consume caffeine regularly. More studies are needed for this, but I found this really cool and interesting. So I look forward to your likes and shares and comments, and I see you in the next video.